Hey, good morning, Faith Box. My name is Ricky, in case I haven't had a chance to introduce myself to you before, if you're new to the community. I'm part of the team at Faith Box, and today we are jumping in with our day 16 of our suffering theme. And today's kind of an interesting day. It's a unique day, so we'll go ahead and pick up, uh, see what it says. Today's an action, and it says this, time to come up with some ideas. List out some of your personal experiences with suffering and how you can use those experiences to bring about good in the lives of others and the, in the world around you. I love this challenge, I love this action because it's something unique, uh, it's something totally different, and it actually takes what we've been through and redeems it for something good. You know, I think a lot of times when we go through suffering, it's easy to just kind of think of our own circumstances, our own plight, and then wonder what to do with it. But one of the best things that we can do is to take our suffering and use that to help and to encourage and to support someone else. And the thing is, we've all been through that. We've all been through different things. We all have different experiences. Maybe some of our ex experiences are similar, but here's what's true. No matter what you've gone through, someone else in the world, someone else potentially that you even know of right now is going through that same thing. So if you've been through divorce, how can you support someone else who's going through a divorce or who's navigating that journey for themselves? If you've lost a loved one, a family member, a parent, a child even, um, what could you do there? Is there you know, some sort of community that you could form? Is there uh, maybe a group or a community through your church? If you go to church, you know, that you could begin to help, kind of pe to help people kind of navigate their suffering and, and do it in a way that leads to positive outcomes. So whatever you've gone through, go ahead, you'll see on here, there's a left-hand side column where you can write down what that experience has been. And then on the right, you can write down the usefulness, like what good could be done with that. So take time today to reflect on that, to go through that, and then see what God wants to do through you. We'll see you tomorrow.